It's Saturday morning, June the 18th, 2022, and it's joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and this morning we're going to read Proverbs chapter 25, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 5 says, Take away the wicked before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. And this is simply a matter of spiritual leadership. The Bible says, Take away the wicked before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. In other words, if you remove the negative elements, uh, often the king will do the right thing. The person who's a conscientious leader of men, the one who's truly uh, one who has a spirit of citizenship, who's truly a good leader, will make decisions that will be a blessing to and a help to his subjects. And it's the negative influences that will cause him to make perverted decisions. And so if you take away the wicked before the king, his throne shall be established in righteousness. And often he will be a person who makes choices that will be to the benefit of his subjects. And he'll be a good leader of men. This is often the case with biblical rulers, kings, people who were in places of authority. And God allowed them to be there because they would do the right thing for the people. Not always the case. Sometimes leaders and rulers rule wickedly. And that is a grief to the people, the citizens. And the Bible says as much that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And it makes a difference what kind of character an individual has. We've heard for a long time that character doesn't matter. Oh yes, character does matter. And what a person is in his personal life will reflect greatly upon his leadership decisions. And so we ought to look for statesmen who will properly lead people. Sadly, there aren't too many of those around these days. It seems like so many are looking out for themselves and so many are doing things that will benefit themselves rather than making decisions and leading in such a way as will be advantageous to the people. And whenever there's an opportunity to elect someone who seems to be a person of character, a person of unselfishness, who is thinking about others, the people should jump at the opportunity to have him in office because those people are all too rare in our society today. We've gone a long ways down the wrong roads. And so we are having some ungodly people rule over us in these days. And they make very poor decisions generally for the nation, for the public. Get rid of those wicked influences and the people will be better off. God help you and bless you today.